Now, when I lived in Japan, a really popular uh, event was what they called the Zero Yong, which is the uh, zero to 400 yards, kind of like the quarter mile. Yeah. And you know, there seems to be a real skill necessary to you know, launch that vehicle with as much forward speed as you can mm -hmm. uh, without spinning the tires. Tell us a little bit about the fine line between you know, not going fast enough and going too fast. It, when it comes to launching a car correctly, and, and that's actually a pretty common question, um, obviously you don't want to get a bunch of wheel spin. You know, there's a lot of people even watching, you know, amateurs go out there and drag race. They'll just give it a foot full of throttle and they'll dump the clutch hoping they'll get up to speed. Well, if you're just sitting there and, and, you know, smoldering the tires, you're not producing any forward momentum. You're just sitting there smoking the tires. So ideally what you want to try to do is, you know, work the clutch correctly where you can almost feel the rear and start engaging, um, but also give enough RPM so when you do release the clutch, you have enough power to get the car moving. So it's a very fine finesse of actually using the clutch and the throttle correctly. So there's no uh, wonder why in common vernacular people say you're just spinning your tires when you're going through a whole lot of motion and actually not making any progress. Yeah. Yeah. How'd I do today? Yeah, yeah. great. Yeah. Uh, we actually did watched you do a couple launches on the start finish line, and uh, they're great. They're very good. Felt felt good. Good. Yeah, felt good. So it helps when you got 25 inch wide tires <laughs> <laughs> and 450 horsepower. It, it helps. Yeah. It's, it's good suspension makes a big difference. Yeah. And that's a Carter Cutlery high performance tip.